30-30, day one with warm-up. So we use the clock behind you. We're going to start through the warm-up. We're going to start with a half kneeling hip flexor mobility, so half kneeling down. We're going to do five of these in a half kneeling position. We're going to drive into that hip flexor stretch, relax back out of it. That's one. Two. Three. Four. And five. And then we're going to immediately come into a 30 second hold. So we're coming into it. I'm going to hold and use the clock behind you. Count for 30 seconds. I'll let you know when we're done. Squeeze that glute. Press that hip right through. Hold it. You get that nice stretch in the front of the leg. A little under 10 seconds left. And we're going to switch sides. We're going to do five more of those moves first. Squeezing that glute, pushing those hips through. One, two, three, and four, five. Now we're going to press that hip through and hold that stretch for another 30 seconds. Squeeze that glute, get that little crunch, feeling that stretch right down in the front of that leg. About 10 seconds left in that stretch. Now we're going to move on to the adductors, the inner legs. So we're going to start off with some moves again. So leg out to the side. Knee straight, foot flat. Hands right front. So we're going to sit back on the heel. We're doing one, two, doing ten of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're going to hold that position, sit back, we're going to hold for 30 seconds. Keep that leg straight, knee pointed straight ahead, this one pointed straight forward, not up towards the ceiling. About 10 seconds left. Good, we're going to relax out of that. We're going to come over to the other side. Do 10 of these again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're going to hold it for another 30 seconds on this side. Leg nice and straight, sit back on that heel. And rest in, good. Next we're gonna to come to some pinwheel mobility. So 90 degrees in that front knee and in that back. We're gonna square our shoulders up. We're going to drive into that stretch and then relax out of that. We do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Deep breath in, long controlled exhales out. Back flat, we think we're thinking we're pushing the chest forward, not down. Push it forward. Good, and let's switch the legs in front. We 
again, we're starting off doing some of that mobility. So chest up, press it forward. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. And we're going to hold. Breath in again, press the chest forward. A few more seconds. Good, and rest in. Now we're gonna come in, work on some shoulder work. First one, bent knees, shoulder flex. We're on our back, knees bent, feet flat, arms completely straight. We're gonna do five of these. Deep breath in, exhale hard. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna continue on with a little bit of sideline windmill. So we're coming onto our side. Top knees up as high as we can get it. Hands start stacked. I'm gonna reach my top hand forward, separate those shoulders. And I'm going to trace a circle, keeping that arm as completely straight as possible. Following that hand with the eyes, we bring it all the way back around. We're going to do five of these on each side, so that's one. Two. Three. Four, five, roll it over to the other side, same thing, one, two, Three, four, five. Good, that's it for the warm up. We're gonna get into the main training now. So we're doing 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through five exercises. Once you've gone through those five exercises, you'll get a minute of rest, and you're gonna go through it again. So I'm gonna go through the first round with you. Once it ends, rewind to the beginning of the training portion of the video and go through that as many times as denoted in your personal training. I'll have a minute warm up behind me so I can talk a little bit about it and then we'll get kind of into it. So I'm gonna start that warm up now. So when you get to the end, you're just gonna rewind it back to when I start this warm up. And that will be your one minute rest. The first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do a push-up variation. So we're working on getting back up with our push-ups. We can start from the knees. We can cross the feet or the toes can be down. All the way down, pressing up and away. If you're trying to make that a little bit more challenging, you can come to a wide stance. So that's with the feet wide rather than together. All the way down and back up. From there, if you're able to, you can bring the feet together. That's our most challenging variation of that push-up. So that's the first one we're going through in about 25 seconds. Remember, inhale as you make your way down. Exhale hard as you press up and away. 20 seconds now. Get yourself all set up for whatever variation you're going to be doing. Full push-ups. If you're unable to get all the way down and back up in one piece, then stick with the kneeling and we'll work our way up. Two, one. Push-ups all the way down, all the way back up. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhale hard as you push the ground up and away. Nice solid line all the way through. Chest and hips hit the ground at the same exact time. Again, if you're able to come up to a wide stance or a feet together push up, fantastic. But only if you can get all the way down and back up with great form. 
Good. We're going to bring it up to our feet. We're going to grab a band. Next one we're coming to, band deadlifts. We're going to double up that band. Right underneath the feet. Back's nice and flat. We're going to soften out the knees. Try and touch our butt to the wall behind us. Stand it right back up and through in about 10 seconds. your butt to the wall behind you. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhale hard, explode to the top. In. Next one we're coming to. So wide stance band row, or excuse me, wide hand band row. So we're going to put that band looped right around the feet. Our palms are going to be facing up. We're pulling that band in, shoulders down, and we're tapping that band to the chest on every single rep. Shoulders, don't bring them forward. Everything comes back, chest comes forward, and we relax. Here we go, tap that band to the chest, right back out or to the torso. Deep breath in, as you extend out. Remember, shoulders down, like you're trying to scrape your elbows against your hip bones. coming back up to our feet. We got squat variations. We're either going body weight squats, chest and shoulders up, feet about shoulder width apart, toes are going to be slightly pointed out. We're squatting down, coming all the way back up. We want to make that a little bit harder. We can go with a band wrapped up in the position, but only if you can still get that same depth. Feels like you're shortening it up, then ditch the band. Band up in that shoulder position. Down, pressing up and away. Stay up nice and tall, look straight ahead the whole time. My chest is up. And exhale hard as you push that ground away from you, standing back up at the top. All right, we've got our final one. Then you're gonna have that minute of rest. Front plank, forearms and toes, feet together, knees together, glutes squeezed. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Deep breaths in, long controlled exhales out. The more you control that breathing, the more you control that feeling of wanting to come down. Remember, at the end of this exercise, you're gonna rewind to the beginning of that one minute, go through that as many times as denoted in your personal training. Here we go. Deep breath in, exhale out. Nice field goal post position with the forearms. Hands should be just as far apart as the elbows are. Rest in, rewind, restart. Go with that as many times as is denoted in your personal training.